Okay. Today will be a um, you know a guide on how to get the clipping software for um, Steel Series Moments to you know be so you can cut out audio like chatter or audio from the game itself or yourself, and how to do that with and without the mixer. But first, right off the bat, we'll be show we'll have to say about a little bit of a problem here. With the mixer, you can pretty much do exactly um, every individual one because you have control of over all the audio. But two, without the mixer, you will be having a problem where you won't be able to control either. We won't be able to control the game audio as opposed to the Discord or whatever you're using audio that differently. So I would just say when you get to that part, you would understand. And But if you're trying to do it with it, There'll be timestamps, you know, showing like how with and without the mixer and an example um, of how it works in the first place. <clears throat> so we'll be going right into that immediately. So that was just a bit of a heads up. But if you do want it to make it easier in the end, a mixer would be nice, but they are costly. So but I'll give recommendations towards the end of good ones if you are curious. OK, so a clip here is I'm just going to take it from a game of what I was playing with somebody. Um, playing some Halo, but uh, we're going to show here how well it works. So I'm just going to turn on all the audio devices, microphone, chat, etc. And I was turning down. It is a little bit loud. Everyone else. Why was I the only one here? So, you know, you hear everything and whatnot. You hear, you know, chat going off. You hear game going off and everything. But maybe all you want to do is you want to just hear the game for whatever it is. So turn that off and me. So maybe you get a clip and you don't want to hear people in Discord or something or yourself. Now if we go back just a moment. You are only hearing the game. And one thing that's nice about this is for what I showed as an example is this is right on the spot. I saved the clip, went into the software and you're able to edit it without having to do anything else. So that is really cool to do. But maybe you want to clip somebody saying something as opposed to just hearing the game audio. Let's go back a moment. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying you, I'm saying everyone else. You can hear that, but no, no game audio. <clears throat> so, and then you can do the same from microphone, so on. So, I hope that gives you a good understanding of what this does and what it is even about in the first place. So, now... We'll be going on to the first one of how to do this with the mixer. And like at the beginning of the video, if you haven't seen already, afterwards without the mixer. And timestamp here to how to do it without the mixer if you, you know. But regardless, next one. So what you want to do is immediately is from here you want to go into your settings. Right off the bat. So if you have a mixer of any sort, like a GoXLR... Um, a beacon mix, mix create, PC panel, PC panel pro, that turn up, turn up one, um, amp one. That's really cool. I'll be showing it off in the end if you don't know. Um, <clears throat> basically, uh, you can control the audio outputs of game, browser, chat, etc., whatever you're using, mic. So, what you all you want to do is go down here to capture and sound. And you have your audio devices. This is a little bit more newer, um, for what they are, what it's in here. So, you got. So you're going to want to put your microphone input as whatever you're using for your mic or whatever is going through. So I use voice mod for soundboard, etc. So I let it capture that. And in the end, you know, it captures it. So I hope that's so you just get that going and, you know, make sure it works. Next one, audio. You want to put it through whatever it is that your game audio is going through. Maybe you have a separate games tab as opposed to I just <clears throat> put on system because I just was not bothered to put up the game tab. I had problems with the setting up before, so. It wouldn't detect all the time. So I just did system. Um, so system, it detects game audio. And then chat, you put it through your chat of whatever you have on your mixer as your chat option. Um, I can't really say for much other people that are using different mixers out there. So if you don't have these set up, I would recommend looking into more about what you're using. Because I don't have all of them. A Go XLR can be expensive. The mini is even a bit expensive. Mine is a bit expensive. You know, there's a lot to pick from and I wish I could do more on that. So I would recommend going, if you don't know, go to the video of probably showing how to set yours up and do all this if you haven't already. So once you do that, it is pretty much done. You just give it a go test, go into game, 
chat, etc. Save a clip. It should do it. So from there, you should be good. Um, now on to the next part without the mixer. If you were watching this part, now we're gonna go into the part without the mixer. So this is the part that gets a little bit more interesting. And if there's another way to possibly do this, I would recommend. I would love to know. But if you have any sort of way you can route audio to some sort of software and route it out to everything else, I would love to know. But I couldn't find much without screwing over something I got now. But if you want to just do it through the through this and not have to deal with the download another software. This is easy enough, and it's probably ideal what you wanted to do is what I did for a moment. So let's get right into it. Of course, microphone input is going to be whatever you use as your mic. Either it's a headset microphone or it's an actual USB XLR, whatever you're using. I don't know. Whatever you're using as your current microphone. And then this is where you, now that's the part gets interesting. So your audio device and chat device is more likely going to be set towards your headset or whatever you're using as your output audio. <clears throat> this is what you're going to want to do. Whatever you want to prioritize, so you either want to prioritize chat or game. So say if you want to prioritize your game audio as opposed to chat, what you want to do is your chat device is going to be set to whatever it might be that is not having an output, say like your monitor speakers or something, or speakers you have on desk. So what happens is you're going to make it so that it goes through that because realistically, your Discord or whatever, you have it set going to your headset. So it's not going to capture that. It's thinking that there's no audio of chat going through it. So you want to set it to like monitor speakers or something. And then once you set that, it would only capture game audio. But either for some reason you want to capture chat but not game audio, do it the other way around. Set chat to be your headset and audio device to be like monitor speakers or something. And that's as simple as that. But you won't be able to, of course, control one of those audios. So that's really the only downfall as opposed to getting a mixer and if you want to get a mixer up next i have a couple of options where you could pick from one of them i use myself one that i or two of them most of them honestly i actually know that actually work and are pretty good so we'll get on to that part next <laughs> 